Welcome back. Let's recap what we've got so far. Uh, we've got a table populated by data from our tickets database table. Uh, we've got the ability to add a new ticket here. Ta da! Okay, uh, what we do need uh, on this form is a back button. Uh, but in the meantime, we'll sort that out later. In the meantime, let's just hit the back button. Um, what we do need in this lesson is a an update button here. We can add a, a new column for actions. Uh, we'll add an update button and eventually we'll add a delete button as well. So this update button will take us to another form in which we will be able to modify details about our individual tickets. So first things first, let's add a new column to our table. So going back to the project, resources, views, tickets, and it's the index page. Here's our table. Um, so I will copy this um, column, table cell, heading even, and I'll call this actions and likewise I'll add a new table cell here and what shall we put here we're going to use uh, a link an anchor so um, okay let's leave where it's going to and just call it update now to take advantage of bootstrap styling I'm going to give it a class of initially button um, I think we'll have a primary button so let's add that class and go back to the browser just refresh see what that looks like oh that's wonderful look at that when the user clicks this button where will it take them well let's go back to the link um, right okay we've not set up the route for this yet but it will be uh, tickets. Now we're going to need to append the ticket ID there. So let's just echo this out. And um, we've used ticket ID already here. So I'll just copy that. Put that in there. Save that. Refresh the page. And I'm just going to hover over the update button and check the href, the path, and it looks okay to me. When we do click the update button, um, it ain't going to work. Look, sorry, the page you're looking for could not be found. That's because we've not set up the route yet. So we will need to go into, just close this down, um, go into routes, web, and here, actually put it there, doesn't really matter. Um, just going to type the whole damn thing out just for a little bit of practice. Uh, it will be tickets and we will have the ticket in the path just there. This will take us to the ticket controller and this time the method will be show and I'll give the root a name of oops tickets dot show there we go the next piece in this jigsaw puzzle is to hook up the uh, ticket controller we need to do something with the show method so app HTTP controllers, ticket controller, uh, where is show, there it is. This is an easy one. All we're going to do is oops, return a view. And the view will be, you can probably guess, it's going to be tickets.show. You can see how the naming conventions are all consistent. It's all a very logical process, this. Now that we're returning um, a view that doesn't exist, we'd better create it. So, um, back in resources, views, tickets, 
uh, we've got the create, we've got the index. Um, the show form will be very similar to the create form. So I'm just going to create, uh, sorry, I'm just going to copy the create form and I'll call it show. There we go. Uh, let's open show up. I'm dying to see what this looks like. So let's go over to the browser. Let's go back. Uh, just refresh the page. Uh, update. Oh my god. It only works. Well, I say it works. It only half works because although the update form is presented, the input fields are not populated with data from the table. So what we're going to need to do is populate these fields. This means that in the controller over here we're going to need to somehow get our hands on the ticket and pass it to the view. Well I say get our hands on the ticket, the ticket's already passed so that makes it very easy to do. So we're going to pass in the ticket like so. And back over in the view, we're going to reference the ticket's values. So this is the summary. Let's add in a value equals. Very easy this. It's going to be the ticket that we're passing in. It's going to be the summary. And OK, I'm just going to save that and refresh and just make sure that that first field works OK. And if so, oh, look at that. It's bringing in the ticket summary, so that's good. So now we know that we can just copy and paste this bit of code for the other fields. So this one will be the, what is it? It's the description. So let's just steal that. Oh no. Paste that in there. Copy again for the status. And let's just refresh this page. We don't need to go back. So it's bringing in all the values. Oh, while we're here. Let's change this add button. It's not add. Uh, this is going to be an updates button. And save that. Refresh. There we go. We now need to sort out the root uh, for when the user clicks on update because we don't have a root for this yet. So back over in the roots. Now it's going to look something like this, but it will be a post. So let's just copy that, paste it, and change the get to a post. And uh, that will remain the same, but the show method is actually going to be the update method. And over here, just for consistency, update. Just save that. And let's sort out the update method in Ticket Controller. So where is it? It's here. So what are we going to do? I'm just aware that we've not added any validation at all um, to the uh, store method and the update method. Uh, we're going to add validation a little later. So for now, very dangerously, we're just going to update the database immediately. So, tickets, update, now we'll give it some, give it an array of values, like this. So what are we updating? We're updating the, oh, I'd just like to get everything in place first, hold on. Uh, we're updating the summary. What with? Well, we can take it from, um, the request helper function and it's going to be summary and we're doing the same 
with di oh, indent it with description like that and same again for the status watch it indent it indents it oh my god status Okay, so that's the ticket hopefully updated. Where will we go after we've made the database update? Let's go. I think after you've updated a ticket, it's nice to go back to um, the index page to see the list of existing tickets. So we'll go return. We're not going to do the usual return view. Um, I bet you were wondering about the names we were giving the routes here well this is the the route we need and we gave it the name of tickets.index so i'm going to copy that back in the ticket controller i'm going to do a return redirect uh, we'll use the root method and i'll just paste in the name of that route save that back to the page just because I'm a bit OCD about this, I'm just going to go back here, refresh, and uh, go back in. Okay, so this is ID 101. Let's just update that and give it a summary of salami. Uh, update that. Oh my god. Update should not be called statically. I think I know what that means. Uh, oh, there we go. So we we're calling update statically on the ticket model when in actual fact we've got an instance of the ticket coming in so let's just get rid of that and start typing ticket summary equals request using the uh, request helper summary so we're just setting the uh, properties of um, the ticket and we'll do that we we'll do the same with the description and last time with the status and now that we've set the properties for the ticket instance, we'll need to save it. Okay, so that looks right. That bit's okay. So over in the browser, let's try again. Woohoo, and that has been changed to salami. Uh, let's try another one, just to make sure that one works. Um, okay, uh, mouse. I don't know why, just click on update. Yes, so it's working. Right then, it's mission accomplished. We've added an update button which updates our tickets. Uh, but while we're in here, and while it's still bugging me, um, we're going to need to add a back button, uh, just so we can go back to the uh, the index page. Here, and also on the add new ticket page which has stopped working and do you know what i think i know what that is um it will be a let's see now so oh okay it's it's because it's out of order the um we've got a route here for tickets create but this get uh comes before it so it's thinking that um we're doing a get on create and create is actually the name of a ticket so if we move this down and we'll just go back I'll refresh add new ticket so that sorted that out where were we uh, we're going to add a back button so let's do it on the uh, create page first 
so create and I'm just going to copy the existing button for add and we'll call this back and because we don't want two primary buttons we don't want them well I'll, I'll just show you uh, back over here so they look both the same so I mean that, that could be a bit confusing so let's take off the primary and we'll just have a default button so that looks a bit better but where's it going where's it going is uh, the bin actually because we need um, a link full so this will be the back button and we'll put the class on it as before default and again we're going to steal the root name for the index page so using that we can go and put the root in here so let's try that out okay we've lost the styling I'll sort that out in a minute but the button works so what's wrong with the styling let's change the button to be a secondary button save that give that another whirl okay so that works it's just a case now of copying this and putting it into the show view try again uh, in update there's that new button and it works